This film's called Malk. You sure that's how it's pronounced? <laughs> you know what this is about? Malk. It's the Incredible Hulk's mother. <laughs> <laughs> Back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I am Corbin. This is Rick. Milk smash. Uh, and Tuda. Cause you didn't do your homework. Get it? The mom, Hulk's mom. Go and smash that bell to be part of the notification squad. <gasps> Milk smash. Um, and thank you for supporting our Patreon and follow us on our official Twitter account and also um, what else? Instagram and Twitter, but like our oh, yeah. Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Everything's out of order. It is. Uh, totally out of order. You're out of order. He's out of order. But this is called Malk. It's from the exact same director. Yes. As? As? Article 15. Oh. Yeah. Where? Um, and it has uh, Topsy Panu. Oh. Where? And uh, uh, Rashi Kapoor. Oh. I where? Think, I think we know him. I just can't pinpoint where we know him from. Think, it's Rashi. Rishi. Ow, I hurt my oh, ear. Is it? Yeah, Rishi. But we know him from something, right? I don't know. I'd have to see his face. <laughs> don't mistake it because it's Kapoor, because there's a couple of Kapoors. <laughs> oh, a couple of them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's more than a couple. Corbin Kapoor. I'm going to change my name. Ricky Kapoor. Ricky Kapoor. I kind of like the ring of that. Yeah, don't Right? Do Ricky Kapoor. Don't do it. I love that my last name sure. has an Indian derivative that Siegel could be Siegel. I noticed that in pink because Big B plays Siegel. You don't care. No, we don't. <laughs> you would if I grew a beard. Here we go. Uh -huh. I love trailers. I love movies. This came out last year. <laughs> घर पे पुलिस पहुंच गई तुम्हारी वो लोग रिक्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं तुमसे बात कराने को क्या हो गया तुम्हें शायद अभी नहीं आ सकेंगे हम हम लड़ाई पर निकले अपने मजहब के लिए So he's <clears throat> Topsy is representing him, I think. Yeah, the the bearded man just bearded there at man. the end. Yeah, who I he, think they're accusing, accusing of terrorism. Accusing of terrorism because he's, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a Muslim and he's from Pakistan. From, from Pakistan. And I'm sure there's other things. It's not that. Yeah, yeah, of course. But, but those are contributing factors to the presupposition that the guys. But man, was a that, a, that a great line? 
the uh um, uh-huh, the beard the, just because i have the beard of osama bin laden doesn't make mean i can't follow the traditions yeah of my, yeah. my religion yeah. you know what it reminded me of and i was as i reminded me of it i was thinking about how long it's been but i guess we shouldn't be surprised because the tensions that have happened religiously on earth have been since the inception of re- religious expression yeah and um, but it, it runs so deep and after 9-11 which was now we're, we're, we're approaching almost 20 years from 9-11 man it's been almost 20 is years is this a try not to feel old challenge? exactly <laughs> God. but what happened and it, they touched on this a lot they didn't just touch on it it was a central theme in My Name is Khan mm-hmm. the way that Muslims in America were looked at and treated following mm-hmm. it pretty much at that point there was Islamophobia out the wazoo and if you even looked like you could be Islamic, you were in certain parts of the country treated extraordinarily mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's, that reminded me of, <clears throat> of that. And this is, uh, I wonder if we as the audience go along on this ride and we too have to discover for ourselves, is he guilty or is he not? And our, I hope it takes us on that journey. Like we find out we're making presuppositions and it reveals our prejudices while we're watching. You know what I mean? Kind of similar to pink a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but this this is- uh, Obviously very different. So obviously it's right. different because of the, 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 the gender and equality and, 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 and rape issue. Uh-huh. Um, but man, I mean, this goes, this is deep. This, this is deep. This guy we've seen in a bunch. We saw that he was in a, uh, the trailer for Kapoor and Sons, Agnipath with uh-huh. Ritha Groshan. Right. Um, He's, Rishi's the man who plays the accused, yeah? Yes. Yeah, and the, who, who did the score on this? Um, I'm assuming the score trailer is the same as the film trailer? Probably. I mean, the, the film score? Composer is this person, you can say their name. Mangish Dakte? Uh, we haven't seen him. Dakte. We haven't seen him. Wow, well, the music for the trailer was as strong as the trailer, really. The director well is... He's done oh, Ra hey. 1. The, the synopsis. One family member tries to help her own family, which are trapped in a dark yeah, controversy. Yeah. So this is Tops, her family member. Topsy is this person's family member. Wow. Uh, and she plays a lawyer. So this is post-pink. She's gone to law school. So, yeah, this is 2000. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm joking. 2018. How, how, how was this, guys? Yeah. Let us know how it was. It looks, it looks great. great. I love the, the premise. Um, and the, the acting looks strong. Um, yeah, from this guy. Um, yeah, the, 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 the man Kapoor, who plays the main lead, Rashi Kapoor. Kapoor. Rashi Kapoor, and then obviously Topsy. Um, so, yeah, please let us know how it is. It looks fantastic, um, and it's from oh yeah, it's from the director of the the well we just watched the uh, Article Fifteen. Article Fifteen, yeah, same director. Yeah. yeah, it seems like that's the niche for this director's yeah. work right now. Yeah, political um, driven. Political driven thriller. Um, I'm, I'm really interested. What I'm really interested in this is because I'm learning from all you beautiful, stupid babies who write to us more about the intricacies and the complexities and the depths of all of the different schisms and prejudices. Uh, and and a, we've got it here, but it's been going on there before yeah. we ever existed, and like yeah. most things. And I hope this is like a good film because a lot of times people will say, oh, they're just trying to another film about India, Pakistan relations and yeah. all the kind of stuff and so I'm hoping this is more than that uh, right and it looks like it's more than and that I, but and I, you, you'll, you'll know and I hope it takes I hope it takes I assume it's probably gonna do the same thing like we were pleasantly surprised with Rosie oh yeah how it um, it didn't paint stereotypical pictures that you would anticipate of she finds herself realizing wow these are these guys are more like us than I mean this is a film that could technically be done in America yeah because of the exact same prejudices um yeah in case you guys didn't know i mean it's the 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 prejudices still exist here and it's really painful the islamophobia um the assuming that because someone has a particular last name or even has a beard i mean i've got a lot of friends who come from the middle east and and they get treated certain ways because of the fact that they look like they could be from the middle east Mm mm-hmm it's racial profiling. It's just and, it's and they awful. Don't, they, they don't ask. They could be no. an Indian person. No, exactly. They could be from Pakistan. They could be from uh, Iraq. They could be from anywhere. As long as they don't look American. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and they misconstrue all the time. Like, we have Sikhs here. 
Yeah. You see a lot of Sikhs here in the San Fernando Valley. They don't understand what a Sikh oh, is. Oh, no, they just they assume they've had, they have a turban, so they must be some kind of Muslim from Afghanistan or something, and then make prejudicial thoughts, and it's sad. Yeah, it's really, so, really sad. So uh, this looks really good. Really good. I don't know how it is. I'm hoping um, for it. Yeah, I'm hoping it's real, real good.